guys. We are on our way to the post office so Riley can send off for his passport. We're kind of in a time crunch. What time is it? Uh, a little after one o'clock. And they close at 2.30. We were supposed to get this done earlier but Riley was called in to work at like two o'clock this morning. Hopefully there's no line there. Like post office not being busy, right? Sounds no. pretty good. On a Saturday, I would expect <laughs> it to be busy. Riley always gets called into work. The worst times, like the most inconvenient time. Like, won't get called in whenever I, you know, don't mind getting called in, but I, for some reason, get called in whenever I don't want to be. So he, oh, Sorry. oh, <laughs> scares me We're in a when rush. he drives. How does it work? He can work up to 16 hours a day? Um, 16 hours with, as long as you have an eight hour break in between those 16 hours, then you go on rest time. What that means for us is, at any given moment, if he hasn't worked a consecutive 16 hours, yes. he can be called in. So we can go to the movies and he can be called in. We can go to dinner, he can be called in. And, um, but I'll yeah. go on rest. If I get called in again today before the eight hour rest period, yeah. then I have a chance of going on rest. So let's say if I, we do get called in after going to a movie today, I'll go on rest time after I get off so they won't bug me for the next eight hours. But do you see the dilemma here? Right. You gotta keep people turned on. So. Gotta keep people turned on. Yeah. Keep all the computers cameras and stuff charged up and going. I guess we can just say that he is a linesman. Chicka chicka wah wah. So yeah. Important. Not just any linesman. So I guess his job's kind of important. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> As being a new couple, I can see later on down the road how this could possibly be a problem. It takes a strong girlfriend or other half just as much as it takes a strong man to do a job that takes a lot of time away from that relationship so I think she's pretty tough though and she'll be okay okay Trust me, I don't like it either anywho we're getting this passport for him because we want to go on our first vacation hopefully to Jamaica to Jamaica ma. my parents invited us so they're waiting on Riley to get his passport before we can, or send off his, for his passport before um, we make the dates or set the dates. Hopefully in October. To the sweetest villa of all time. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm more excited for October to get here, but. That's right. That's if she hasn't dumped me by then because I work too much. But really, like, I don't work all the time. Yes, he does. Oh my gosh. Monday through Friday. And then you get called in like last night. Yeah, but. We have no privacy. We have no, well, we have a little bit of privacy. We get like two weeks out of the month to where we really don't have to worry about calls. And those two weeks are past, <laughs> so. But even during that, you got called in. The other night, I did. Right. He works outside in the heat. Like, he works in the elements, so. Even if he doesn't have to work or he doesn't get called in, he's tired. He's been working in the heat all day, so then he's, he's asleep. I just like to be lazy, even though I shouldn't because it, I'm like causing Ashley to be lazy and it's just a, it's tough. No, I can sympathize that he's working out in the freaking elements. It's like a thousand degrees outside, but no still. Sleep. Right. large sake things by himself. I had a half a shot. It's not delicious. I don't like I don't like his sake that he gets. So good. I like the peach sake, the peach warm sake. He just gets the regular nasty sake. I can't take it.
which made me constipated. And when you get constipated, you kind of like strain. And now I have a freaking hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> which is the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. Even me sitting down, walking, everything is so uncomfortable. And she was a little nauseous yesterday. You know, she... I don't know if it was from that, but my stomach was definitely hurt from the chicken. It made us think a few other things, but... It made you think a few other things, not me. Riley got his passport stuff sent off. He was in there being super friendly with this lady though. She they were over there hee hee and stuff and all I can think of is like, my ass hurts. <laughs> 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 can we hurry up please? <laughs> Has anybody ever had hemorrhoids? Because what is the remedy other than preparation age? Because I've preparation age my ass down, okay? And I know what her constipation face looks like now. What is that? What is it? When I looked in there and seen your face. Just a little stuffy looking. <laughs> Anywho, this crazy fool got his uh, passport expedited. Why? I have no idea. Because we're not going to plan a trip until October. I'm going to sneak my way to Italy. Oh yeah, because I'm going to Italy leave soon. in September. I wish you could go. I really do. Oh, she, she, I wish you could go. She's... It's definitely gonna happen. I might not be like, you know, right there with her en route. Because I'm gonna be like inside some <laughs> Venus and Venus and Brittany and everybody's gonna be like, who is this guy following us? I'm kinda sad. It's gonna be a whole week without you. No, I wanna be there. In spirit. <laughs> oh yeah, and speaking of um hemorrhoids, the, the lady who was very friendly to me. <laughs> they were friendly to each other. They were very kee hee hee and stuff. I'm like, what the hell y'all talking about over there? That I need to be a part she of. Was <laughs> she was smiling at her own jokes. <laughs> but she gave me a little excuse for work, which just so happened to relate to the whole Coincide asshole situation. Coincide with my, my condition. Mm -hmm. It's called asinitis. <laughs> and asinitis is a condition that you can't see your ass going into work. And that's what you need to tell your boss or whoever your higher superior is next time you don't want to go to work. So. And then they're like, ah, you're fired. Yeah. <laughs> so all in all though, the whole process of getting a passport for him was not a big ordeal at all. Like when I got mine, they made me jump through freaking hoops. I had to make an appointment. I had to get my own passport photo. It was a couple of years ago though. And yeah. They liked me. Yeah, it was just like a, a walk-in thing for him. It didn't take too long, maybe 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean. It, probably not even that. They took his photo there, paid for it, and that's it. That's super crazy. Mugshot. Mugshot. Mm -hmm. I hate pictures. He loves pictures. No, I don't. You take them with me. Yeah, I'll take them with you, but. That is it. <laughs> what else are we gonna do today? Go home and go to sleep? I am definitely gonna take a nap. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, you need to take a nap. I'm a little delirious. I was tired as fuck this morning. I'll be too, babe. So we went to sleep around last night, what, like what, 11.30? I have no idea. It was 11.30 around that time. Then they called him in around 2.30. He didn't have much sleep at all. He I just got off. Work. Well, you got home around, what, 12? 12.30 noon. So yeah, I can see him being super duper tired right now. So yeah. Over and out. Oh.
over and out. <laughs>